guys welcome back to big john tv on today's what's cooking wednesday i'm making scotch eggs we've had them a couple times at scottish games but i'm going to try my hand at making my own it has been requested a couple times so let's see how i do all right in our bowl we've got one pound of pork sausage ground pork to that we're going to add one teaspoon of sage one teaspoon of thyme one teaspoon of parsley one teaspoon of chives half a teaspoon of nutmeg half a teaspoon of garlic powder and get in there with your hands and give it a mix now if you had it you can use fresh herbs in this because i didn't have those on hand i'm going with dried Fresh herbs, you could use a little bit more. Dried herbs, the flavors are a bit more concentrated. And we are gonna make four eggs. So we're gonna get this kind of divided into four. I forgot to add Coleman's mustard. We're gonna do just about a teaspoon. Sprinkle of black pepper. And about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Let's mix again. We'll set those aside. We've got four hard boiled eggs. We're going to put those into some plain flour and give them a light dusting. Take our sausage and pat it out. Place the egg in the middle and seal it around. You'll need to pinch and mush and mash to get it all around the egg. Seal it up. You can kind of feel with your hands if it's nice and even around the entire egg. This one feels pretty good. We're going to set that on our plate. And repeat the process. A little bit of flour on your hands keeps the sausage from sticking too badly. Make sure you get that seam closed tightly and no air pockets inside your sausage between the egg and the sausage. Alright, let's clean up and continue on. 
partner, we're going to do a three-step dip. We're going to go from the flour into the beaten egg. This is two eggs beaten. Get fully coated there. And into the panko. Back onto the plate to wait. Next egg. Doing some research, I did find out that these actually originated in North Africa, and they've been coated instead of um, sausage, they have been coated originally in fish. So I'm glad I'm eating this version and not the fish version. All right, these are looking good. We're gonna air fry these, something a little bit different. These can be deep fried, pan fried, but we are going to air fry them. All right, these are going to go into our air fryer at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Make sure you give them lots of room between them. We can check them about halfway and see if they need to be rotated. There they are, they look fantastic. Check it out, those look fantastic. They smell delicious. I'm not a fan of hard boiled eggs, but you know I'm gonna try these. All right, so it's my time, yeah. my turn to slide on in here, cause these smell amazing. They do smell really good. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of hard boiled eggs. Neither am I. I'll eat them occasionally because, you know, they are good for me. These look amazing. They turned out really good. The crispiness is fantastic. Yeah. I did have to add about four and a half minutes to the cook time. So about 20 minutes total. And I've got some HP sauce to try them with. And I've also got some strong cheddar because I heard that's a good thing to have with them also. Nice. All right. I'm going to just jump right in. I'm going to taste it straight up first, of course. That's some good cheese. I'm going to go straight into the HP. Oh, that sausage is amazing. That flavor in there. Mm-hmm. Yum. Oh, it's hot. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is fantastic. The flavor's a bit different than like an American sausage yeah. flavor. So. To me, that, that makes me think that I've done a good job of seasoning <laughs> the meat. All right, I'm gonna jump on that HP and a little bit of cheese right there. I'm just gonna stick with the cheese. I like that the um, the sausage kind of masks the eggy flavor. Uh, overall, it's a good bite. I was worried about the eggs getting too cooked inside and these are perfect. Yep. Ah. <laughs> you know what I'd like? My egg fell out. I'd like a little bit of a runny yolk still. Mm -hmm. No. That would be fantastic. No, thank you. These are really, really good. I love these. Yeah, these are good. Not too hard to make. I got something stuck on my teeth. <laughs> I was doing the same thing. Um, I like it with the cheese. That's an excellent combination that there. That is. That's really good. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm suitably impressed. Let me know if this recipe seemed pretty traditional to you guys. Or is this something that people even make on their own? Or is this something you buy, do you think? Because right. oh. that kind of turned out to be the case with the um, sausage rolls. Yeah, sausage rolls. It was like, nobody makes those. Right. But But these were easy. These we, were fun. Yeah, we do. So. Maddie is apparently... Oh, you replaced the egg with cheese. Our, Sneaky. It, um, it fell out on its own. I'll give her some credit for that. Nice. But the sausage... I wasn't going to put it back in there. <laughs> yep. These are really good. Yep. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, give her... Some thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up for her. She deserves it. These are delicious. Well done. <laughs> you 
You can find um, old Maddie's here to do the, uh, but she's eating. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you know when we post our videos. Yep. Where can you find? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Yep. That's right. That's our social media. Find us. Hang out with us. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. That cheese is so good.